Hello there shoppers and foodies like myself. This is Garrett from the Kingdom Team coming to you from Disney Springs. Now, Disney Springs, for those of you who may not know, is Walt Disney World's outdoor shopping and dining district here on property. And it really is a theme park in and of itself. There's so much to do here. You can easily spend hours on hours here. There's always stuff going on. So why I'm here today is I want to show you what's going on here at Disney Springs, whether it's construction updates, what places are open, not open, and just show you around the general area. So as you saw when I first entered, I went through a health screening where you have to be wearing a proper mask at all times. That is rule number one, unless you are um, stationary and actively eating or drinking. Also, uh, you cannot be showing any kind of temperature. Uh, if you are, they put you in a little cool down tent to hopefully bring that temperature down. And if it does not go down, then they will ask you to leave. So uh, if you are feeling sick or you're not feeling 100%, please do not come to the parks. Uh, protect yourself and protect others. But on to the adventure. Now, the NBA experience, ironically, is closed. I say ironically because currently the NBA is here at Walt Disney World playing for the playoffs and championships and all that so if you're a big basketball fan kind of ironic but the NBA experience is here now before the NBA experience was ever here there was a, a fun arcade slash play center as you would call it called Disney Quest it was big it was immaculate it had state-of-the-art things but then over time it just it just it didn't get enough love and so they tore it down to put in the NBA experience I've never gotten to do the NBA experience so if you have Tell me how it is, because I, I would love to know. I, I will have to try it out when it does open up again, but until that time, nothing I can do. For the avid bowlers out there, you might be pleased to know that Splitsville, the bowling alley here in Disney Springs, is currently open. From asking an associate, they told me that it, they are doing social distancing, so instead of having all 30 lanes open, they only have 15 to accommodate social distancing. So every other lane is open giving you plenty of room from the next party so if you want to bowl go on and bowl and i'm sure they clean the bowling balls as much as possible because of just how many people touch them probably the, the bigger announcement and the craziest thing in our world is amc theaters here in disney springs is now open once again this is one of the most popular places people go for watching movies whether it's someone that's local or someone on vacation that just wants to get away so it is open. It has reduced capacity in the auditorium. Also on the west side here of Disney Springs, Beatrix is an upcoming restaurant. It's going to be a restaurant, market, and coffee bar. All the all the shops are around this area are open, which are help me, uh, Sosa, Cigar, Pele Soccer, Sunglass, uh, the Cauldron, Superhero, and the Star Wars Outpost. Those are all open along with Disney style down there. Here in the middle of Springs, you have STK, Marian Enzo's, and the Edison, along with Paradiso 37. They all are open. However, the Edison is 5 to 10 p.m. only. And well, the other two seem open. They've got some specials, it looks like, outside. But this area has a lot of life, it looks like. Well, life is in like it's open. Not a whole lot of people right now. From this map, you can clearly tell that Disney Springs is a massive area. You've got four neighborhoods. You've got West Side, you've got The Landing, you've got Marketplace, and then you here in this orange area, you've got Town Center. And on this map, you can see all the different options there are for things, whether it's shopping, dining, attractions, entertainment, so on and so forth, and they break it down all right there. It's a massive area. We are currently in The Landing. Oh. This is probably the most exciting thing coming to Disney Springs in, well, a very long time, Gideon's Bakehouse. There's currently one other location here in Orlando, and it is immaculate. What is Gideon's Bakehouse? Fantastic question. Gideon's Bakehouse is pretty much a gourmet cookie place where they have the most delicious cookies in the world. Just look at that chocolate chip cookie right there. Oh my goodness gracious. It's got some sea salt on there so many chocolate chips my mouth is watering but there's just so many different options for food Gideon's Bakehouse dreadfully good coming 2020 hopefully it comes by like December that'd be a great Christmas present to me but Gideon's Bakehouse Gideon's Bakehouse is going to be at the corner of Town Center Buses and Boat Transportation Restaurant Westside 
Got a location, just kidding. It is right next to Raglan Road over there, which is next to Wine Bar George and Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. So it's in the middle of this giant compass, if you can see that very well. Gideon's Bakehouse. Not much has been done. They're probably just gutting it right now, but man, when it is ready, oh my goodness. I'm gonna gain like 20 pounds in just cookie weight. I feel like the occasional cocktail or spirit. Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar is one of the best ones here. It's themed after Indiana Jones' longtime friend, Jock Lindsay. I'm gonna try and show you a little bit of what's going on. They have markers on the ground and they have someone out front. You see in there, everyone is spaced out. And if you wanna look at the menu, they have it via QR code. It appears that there is outdoor dining and it looks spaced out. One of the most popular attractions is here at the boathouse, and they are the amphicars. Those are the amphibian cars that go in and out of the lake out there, and you just have to, you know, spend a little pretty penny to go on there. But they are open. It's just the weather is the reason they are closed. But boathouse is still open. Great food in there if you ever want to experience it. I'm very pleased to know that here at Raglan Road, the steppers and dancers and musicians are still there performing. Of course, everything is social distance, but for a long time, it was unclear what Raglan Road's sort of status would be if it would remain or go. I'm happy to know that it, it's there. Today. Oh, Just another announcement. Reminder. Please wear a face covering at all times, except when actively eating or drinking while stationary. Clean your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, and maintain physical distancing. Thank you. Yeah, so Raglan Road's open, More Motors Asia is still open as well. There's uh, so many safety measures in place, markings on the ground. It really makes coming to Disney Springs not that bad. Oh, and you have the beautiful lights on the water. So if you're wondering why it's called Disney Springs, these are supposed to represent the natural springs here. Something brand new for me is outside Chef Art's Homecoming, which is right here, you have the Shine Bar and Social. It is socially distanced, so I guess they got the social part right, but it's where you can eat your quote unquote moonshine and whatnot. And this is Southern cooking with a Florida flair. But it looks open, it looks lively in there. Great fried chicken, by the way, and the mac and cheese is amazing as well. I highly recommend it. Go on in there, give it a go to keep you updated with where we are on the map. We're currently in the town center right in front of the Guest Relations Welcome Center. We have already conquered the landing as well as the west side. So after we conquer town center here, we will then move on over to the marketplace, which is home to the world of Disney, the world's largest world of Disney store. So we're gonna check that out. A lot of these stores have adjusted their times and have closed them a little sooner, because in the past, Disney Springs would stay open until 11 o'clock or so. Now, it seems like some shops close at 8, some shops close at 9. And the weather, well, that keeps people away, too. If you are a proud person who exercises, then you're going to be happy to know that the Lululemon shop here in Disney Springs is now officially open. For those that may not know what Lululemon is, it is not a lemonade stand. It is not where you hula hoop. No, it is a high-end exercise clothing store. It's brand new. So Lululemon is the place to be. It is a great new shop. It's simple, easy, easy to navigate. Uh, the team members, they're not cast members, are very knowledgeable. Found out they have a lot of markdown items right now. As of this recording, they are only a week and a half old or so, and they do not offer any discounts for whether you're an annual pass holder, DVC, any of that stuff. However, they did say when they opened, they had a special one for cast members, but they said, 
to always ask since they are so young they're just trying to manage their own stuff before discounts so hopefully in the future they will have some discounts inside of there but right now they have a ton of markdown stuff i saw some shorts out normally 78 going for 44. that is a fantastic deal but yeah lululemon check it out The most probably famous attraction here in Disney Springs, the volcano here at Rainforest Cafe. It is still active and it still erupts. In the back here by Earl of Sandwich, we have two areas that are closed. You have the void, which if you have not recently heard the news, they are completely gone. Both the one here in Disney Springs as well as the one out in downtown Disney at the Disneyland Resort. Also, Bippity Boppity Boutique in the corner back there. Let me zoom in. That is also closed as well due to, well, you're fixing people's hair and whatnot. I do wish it was open so I can get some pixie dust in my hair because I always felt fancy and fabulous with it in my hair. And I too believe I can fly. But for your safety, maintain physical distancing. And Once Upon Thank Toy is still today. open. I'm here in the Marketplace Co-op and here is where you can find the bulk of your Disney face masks outside of the park. You've got, you know, the Mickey Mouse themed ones over here. On one side you've got the princesses with Elsa, princesses Mickey, Donald, Stitch, Goofy, Pooh Bear. And then on the other side something brand new. They now have a Black Panther one and I think they, it looks really cool. Ghirardelli is still open here in Disney Springs. However, there is no more free samples that you can get from the gift shop over there. You can still get ice cream and all the other delectables from the soda fountain side of it, right over there. I worked there for one month. Scooping ice cream I was not cut out for. Apparently, my muscles are just for show, but I can't even do. The final stop on our grand tour of Disney Springs is the world's largest world of Disney. Right now, as the hours are getting closer to closing time, which is 10 p.m. right now, less and less people are still here, but it is still busy. You still have constant flow. And then over here by the entranceway, we got a lot of rose gold. If you are unaware, next year, Walt Disney World will be celebrating its 50th anniversary. And for the 50th anniversary, the symbol is gold. And Disney is doing rose gold here, whether it's on a lounge fly backpack, a notebook, t-shirt, more backpack, hat, ears, even you got a little mug or I guess water carrier. But doing up, even the castle, Cinderella Castle, has some rose gold to it. So let's explore the world of Disney.
if you freak out over puzzles, boy, have I got a surprise for you. Over here by the plush and stuffed animal area. Puzzles galore. Cinderella, Frozen, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, more Beauty and the Beast, Mickey Mouse, scenes from movies, Mickey and Minnie. And there are a ton of puzzles here. A ton of puzzles. Oh, you've got the signature puzzle right here of some Disneyland favorites. Yeah, Matterhorn bobsled. Way better than Everest. If you want to shop at the World of Disney, but you don't want people to be around, because that's coming the last hour or two, which would be close at 10. So 8 to 10, there's not going to be as many people here. Some general information for your shopping needs. Here at the World of Disney, there is only one main entrance, and that is going to be out the main front, which is and that way to the left. Every other entranceway is actually an exit only. And here we have the Halloween section. If you like the spooky times, boom, come on down and say hi to Mickey with some candy corn. Walt Disney World, happy Halloween 2020. Even though there is no Halloween parties going on, they're still going to have it decked out for Halloween time. I'm still excited to see it. Hopefully they play some of that fantastic music that they do from the parties and do some projection on either the castle or on Main Street. Some spooky, spooky stuff. Got some spinners, some necklaces. I'm going high pitch for no reason. Uh, <clears throat> got some gangster crocs for Halloween. Some leggings, poisonous apple. It's all carefully put around. Well, my time here at Disney Springs has come and gone and my shoes are soaking wet, so that means it's time for me to go. I've had a great time here at Disney Springs showing you all the wonderful new additions and changes going on around here. Hope that you've had fun too. This has been Garrett from The Kingdom Report and it's been a pleasure. Welcome.